first one is called the money at the church. Well, you know, each time, each Sunday, I go to a different church. Well, last Sunday, I went to the church uptown. They charge you an admission price at your door, then they have a group to come out and sing. Well, then the Reverend comes on, and the Reverend, the Reverend starts serving by passing a plate. The plate shot around the room, came back, nothing on it. Well, I said, y'all, I, I lost money coming down here. Uh, I'm gonna turn the plate out again, give y'all a few minutes to clear this up. They came back around, still nothing on it. Well, said, brothers and sisters, we can't make it like this. I'm sure everyone here wants this church to progress. And if this church is going to progress, this church has got to crawl. And the members said, make a crawl, well, make a crawl. Then after this church has crawled, this church has got to walk. And the members said, make a walk, well, make a walk. And the rep said, after this church has walked, this church has got to run. And the members said, make a run, well, make a run. Rev said, for this church to run, it's going to take money. And the member said, let it go, Rev, let it go. <laughs> the next one is the baptism. A uh, uh, gentleman came up and he wanted to be baptized. So the, the pastor put him under the water, brought him back up, and he said, do you believe? And the guy said, Bruh. the pastor put him under the water again, brought him up. He said, do you believe? He said, oh. The pastor put him down under the water the third time. He brought him back up. He said, do you believe? He said, I believe you're trying to drown me. <laughs> <laughs> when I was growing up, I had, you know, everyone here had a lemonade stand when they were growing up at one time or another. Well, I had a lemonade stand. It was called Ice Lemonade, all you could drink for a dime. And my, what made my lemonade different was I wouldn't stir the sugar up in it. I would uh, pour the sugar in there and you drink the lemonade down to get sweeter. Well, this fella came up to me and said, hey, is this lemonade as good as everybody said it is? I said, you better believe it, buddy. And besides that, I'm letting you have all you can drink for a dime. So the guy said, I'll have a glass. So I gave him a glass. He said, yeah, this is some good lemonade. And he said, I'll have another glass. I said, well, that'll be another dime. But the sign said, all you can drink for a dime. I said, well, didn't you just have a glass? He said, yeah, that's all you can drink for a dime. <laughs> oh, um, when I was growing up, my, you know, it was hard time for me and my family. So um, my mother sent me, um, she sent this little boy next door to go to the store, and she gave him four dollars. And I just happened to see, walk up to the little boy, and I said, why are you crying? He said, son, my mother gave me four dollars, and for us to eat off of, and along the way, a man came and took him two dollars from me. I said, well, didn't you call the police? Didn't you yell for help? He said, yeah. I said, let me hear you yell for help. Help, help, help. I said, that's the loud you can yell? He said, yeah. I said, well, I took the, I took the other two loud. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this uh, guy was from Idaho, and uh, he went into this hotel. And this guy said, uh, I haven't seen you around here before. I said, well, I'm from Idaho. From Idaho? Yeah, you know what they make Idaho potatoes? Well, he said, up here in Chicago, we, we grow up potatoes. He said, oh, son, you ain't got nothing but birds up here. He said, well, I don't need a hole. We grow potatoes out there so dapper and big, it takes between 10 and 20 men just to lift up one potato, put it on the truck, and send it to the market. The guy said, woo-wee, what makes your potatoes grow so big? He said, well, you see, my boy is the climbing. Oh, yeah, the climbing. He said, well, up here in Chicago, we got carrots up here. He said, oh, son, y'all ain't got no carrots up here, you got pestle. He said, well, in Idaho, we grow carrots out there so that burn big, it take between 30 and 40 minutes just to lift up one carrot, put it on the truck, and put it to the market. The guy said, well, make your carrot go so busy. He said, he said, well, you see my boy, it's the climbing. Oh, the climbing. He said, uh, we grow cabbages up here. He said, oh, son, y'all ain't got nothing but budget about the field. He said, well, out in Idaho, we go 
cabbages out there so that bone big it takes between 40 and 50 men just to look at one cabbage and put it on a truck and send it to the market. The guy said, ooh wee. He said, what makes your cabbage grow so good? He said, well, you see, my boy is the climbing. Oh, the climbing. He said, I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you, Mr. Strange Gentleman. I'm going to give you the best room we got in the hotel, the on the 17th floor, and no elevator. He said, you going to give me the best room you got, boy, up on the 17th floor and no elevator? Right. He said, I expect me to get up there. He said, you're climbing, my friend. You're climbing. <laughs>